Hey guys, as you might know, starting from November 28 this year, Roku shuts down their free tier, which means that free Roku Dinos, Postgres and Redis servers will no longer be available. For that reason, we will look at the 5 best Roku alternatives where you can host your full stack applications, your backend APIs or your websites and all of them offer a free plan. If you have a side project that you want to host or you just want to deploy your app for testing it somewhere for free, you can deploy it in one of these cloud platforms. My sample app for demonstrating the deployments can be found in this GitHub repository which is provided in the description. It's a simple Express.js app just so we can verify our deployments. So let's go through the hosting providers one by one and deploy our test app. Or you can deploy your real app if you have one. The first one is Render. This is the most similar service to Heroku which offers a free plan on its pricing page. They offer services for static websites, web services, PostgreSQL databases, Redis and cron jobs. The sign-up process is pretty straightforward, just select your GitHub or GitLab account and you are ready to deploy. You can deploy a Node.js application on Render in just a few clicks. Go to your dashboard and click on the new button. We are going to select the web service in this case. Give the Render access to the repository which you want to deploy. Find your GitHub repository here and click connect. Choose a name for the application. Give the root directory to it. Environment, here you can deploy it with or without Docker. In this first example, I'm going to choose Docker. Select your region and branch. Plan type. And in the advanced tab, I will give the Docker file path to it. Dot slash Docker file. And that's it. Click on create web service. It starts to clone the repository and now it builds the Docker image. This might take about 5 minutes to complete. You can see it's deployed and running. To verify that it worked, open up the URL provided by render. And we can see that our application is up and running. You can check the application logs here in the logs tab. If you have environmental variables, add them here. And you can check out your latest deployments in the events tab. Let's talk about the limits. Web services on free plan have limits in render. You get 512 megabytes of RAM in free plan. The CPU is shared. Web services automatically spawn down after 15 minutes of inactivity, like in Heroku's free tier. And the free plan allows for 750 hours of running time per month across all free web services in your account. Next, we have Cyclic, a cloud platform focused on full stack applications. The best thing about Cyclic is that it has no sleep even with free tier, meaning that apps do not have to sleep like in Heroku or Render. It's because there are no servers, each app is deployed entirely on serverless cloud infrastructure. Code is deployed as soon as its GitHub repository has been connected to Cyclic. Cyclic will use the GitHub default branch to pull the repository contents. Note that Cyclic launches your app by calling npm start, which means you have to have a start command in your package.json file. After you sign up to Cyclic, you need to create a new app and for that click on the deploy button. Go to link your own tab and search for the repository from your GitHub account. You may need to give access to Cyclic for the first time. After that, click connect. Here you can see it installs the dependencies, deploys the app and gives you the URL where you can access the application. So let's go to that URL. And as you can see, our application is successfully deployed. After the deployment, there are a few things you can do next. Go to the Applications dashboard. You can monitor the application in the Logs tab here. Check out the incoming requests and responses from your API. You can add a custom subdomain here and Cyclic will give you the subdomain.cyclic.app custom domain. Change the main branch here if necessary. This will automatically deploy your app once you have a new commit or pull request in that branch. And if you have any environmental variables, you can add them here. Cyclic apps also have their limits on capacity and usage. 
their hard limits are 30 seconds of maximum request time, 6 megabytes maximum HTTP request and response payload size, no streaming of requests or responses, 512 megabytes of ephemeral disk space mounted at TMP, and maximum 5 terabytes of single file size in S3 storage. There are more free alternatives to Heroku like Fly.io, DataSH, Railway App, and all of them offer a free service plans. If you decide to deploy on Cyclic, there is an affiliate link in the description which you can use to get $10 of billing credit to start. You can find the sign up link for Render and other ones which I mentioned in the description below. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more software development content.